Hey! Today we are filming another episode for the Tried and True series, which kind of this is episode one because the first episode was on a short form and I decided that we need to put it on to a long form video. So 1.2, um, but we are looking at institutions that have been around Sacramento for a long time, but may have gotten overlooked in the hustle and bustle of the newness. Um, and today we're at Magpie. Janelle, thanks for having us today. Um, can you tell me about yourself and what you do here? Sure. So um, Magpie is, is mine. Um, it's mine, my partner, Ed. He's our chef, and um, we've been doing this. We've been here in this building at 1601-16 for eight years. It'll be eight years on April. Well, our anniversary is always April 1st is what we call it. So nice. coming right up. Um, eight years here, and then before that we were on our street for five years, and then before that we were a catering company for five years. So I run years, yeah, a lot of years. I know I try to not do the math. I like to like break it into little parts, so it right. feels like something new every little bit. But um, a lot of years doing this now, and um, I, I sort of, you know, do everything front of house and operationally. Um, you know, the engine, the little engine that could. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, so if people have not heard of Magpie before, which I don't know how you live in Sacramento if you haven't heard of it before, what would you like them to know about Magpie? I think I, I would like people to know that we're still just as interested and engaged as we were when we very first started years ago, that we're a restaurant that is, I mean, we work very hard to be representative, I think, of, of the food that comes from the area and also uh, sort of reflect Sacramento and kind of the way that we eat. Um, I think I would want people to just kind of remember us, even though, you know, yeah. we're, we're definitely a sophomore restaurant. We're not anything new and shiny, um, but I think that's kind of also part of our appeal at this point, but that it's still a relevant restaurant. I think that we're still something that is compelling and interesting to eat. Wow. I agree. Okay, so if someone was coming to Magpie for the first time, what do you think that they should order to have the quintessential Magpie experience? I think it depends on the, the person. So whenever people come in and they ask us, you know, what should I get? I always ask them, depends on what you're doing. So let's say you come in with a group of friends, like a smaller group, maybe four or six people. We just started this year doing these little plates that we're calling pizza plates, and they're just little bite size, like maybe five, four or five bite um, dishes. Uh -huh. It'd be really fun to do a nice array of those those dishes so that you get just a little sampling of everything, very tapas style, super fun, super social, and you can have a few drinks. Um, that's one way to dine. Or if you're coming in and you're, you want to have like a dinner that where you're celebrating your birthday, um, you have a bigger group you can still do something like that where you're sharing things for starters but then you can have some nice entrees on the table as well so I think it really depends on how you're dining or what your palate is um, people really love our pork chop and it's a young yeah. single pork chop um, and right now we have a mustarda that has um, a base of ginger Elizabeth's uh, marmalade and then we um, we put we, we make it into a mustarda with other fruit um, from Twin Peaks, usually, that's what we're trying to get our fruit from in order as a base. And then um, this is really delicious, sweet, savory, interesting dish. Pork belly is also another dish that people come to Magpie for over the years, and we've always had that on our menu. Um, that has a nice um, pickled onions and frisee and uh, kind of 
large bowls on that. Um, I hate to say two pork dishes, but also vegetables. Whenever you come to Magpie, you should get something with vegetables in it, whether it be chicken salad or the chicken for sharing or uh, the hummus bowl is one, or you could just get a side of vegetables. And we always keep a uh, beer batter fried vegetable on the menu. So yeah, and that changes all the time. So that's always gonna be, you know, whatever's walking in our door, we're gonna just try and make it into something that is beer battered and fried and delicious. Uh, it does sound really delicious. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. And now let's take a peek around Magpie and try the food. Sounds great. Thanks. Thank So I got this blueberry gin drink and look at that, it's gorgeous. It's not on the menu. The bartender Holly just made it up. Dustin got this Paloma. So look at how beautiful the drinks are. So pretty. Let me tell you. It is tart, crisp, and refreshing. some audio in the restaurant but it didn't turn out so I am on voiceover now and we tried so many dishes um, the restaurant actually sent out a bunch of things for us to try so we tried the beets and burrata they always have a beer battered veggie and it was broccolini which is one of my favorites right now actually all the time and then this was a mushroom with white bean puree they had this beautiful scallop crudo with blood orange which was so delicious this was the gnocchi i tried to tell you about it but the audio did not work on that clip and that's okay it was lovely um this is the pork belly these are some some of the plates are smaller plates um as she was mentioning in the beginning and some of them were the full size plates so if you see anything that looks like small just keep that in mind some of them were the small plate options 
and then we also finished our meal off with a couple desserts and we also tried their hibiscus tea everything was so lovely and i will let you get back to the regular audio on the video now So we're all done eating at Magpie and it was amazing. Um, they have so many great dishes. The drinks were gorgeous and they have a bunch of vegetarian and vegan options, which you should expect in Midtown Sacramento, but they do have them and they were also very delicious. Um, what else? Everyone was so nice and I can see why it is a Sacramento institution. They have been around for 18 years this year. They're celebrating their 18th year anniversary. So that's amazing. And I hope you all will go and give them a visit. Um, yeah, let them know I sent you, maybe, if you want to. Okay, we will see you all next time. Follow along on my social media if you want to keep up with um what's happening with us up to date and subscribe here and yeah check out some more videos too all right bye